The Department of Hawaiian Homelands breaks ground today on a new subdivision on Maui. That development will be Maui's fourth Waiehu Co. subdivision and will encompass a total of 98 affordable homes, 88 uh, built by developer, 12 by, that will be self-built with the assistance from Maui Habitat for Humanity. Maui's North Shore will soon become home to dozens of native Hawaiian families. The state plans to build more than 90 homes there. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands, along with the developer, the Dowling Company, held a groundbreaking ceremony today for Maui's fourth Waiehu Co. subdivision. Now it's another step in providing native Hawaiians with affordable housing. When the project is finished, 98 brand new homes will be built. A lot selection is scheduled for October 28th. The dream of more affordable housing for native Hawaiians on Maui became a reality today. Maui oh, Mayor Alan Arakawa, Waiehu residents and other dignitaries gathered to celebrate the groundbreaking of a new subdivision in Waiehu on Maui. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands hopes the subdivision will allow more native Hawaiians to own homes in Hawaii. The new development on Maui will put nearly 100 native Hawaiian families into brand new homes. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands broke ground on the Waiehu Co. 4 subdivision yesterday. The development will include 98 affordable homes and feature the latest in water conservation and energy efficient appliance. It definitely has a big impact on meeting our, our needs on our waiting list, but just as importantly, it, it's meeting a, a huge uh, uh, need for affordable housing overall in Maui County. For every home that Hawaiian Homes develops, that's one less that's competing on the open market in the affordable housing arena. The Waihu Co. subdivision lots will be awarded at the end of October. 300 pre-qualified applicants are currently on the waiting list. On Maui, the Department of Hawaiian Homelands and Dowling Company held a groundbreaking ceremony for the fourth phase of the Waiahu Co. subdivision. The development is part of an overall goal to provide affordable homes for native Hawaiians. 98 homes are being made available. Once the project is completed, DHHL will have built 422 homes, the single largest development ever for native Hawaiians. And it's being called the largest project so far by the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. Hundreds of Native Hawaiian families will benefit. Coming up, a groundbreaking in Kapolei brings hope for hundreds of potential Native Hawaiian homeowners. Hundreds of Hawaiian families will soon get a chance to own their own homes in Kapolei. It's the latest and largest Hawaiian homelands project so far and includes major infrastructure for the area. But could it be a second chance for the second city to succeed? KITV's Caroline Slider has that story. It's dry, bare land now, but if all goes as planned, a new Hawaiian homeland subdivision will be springing up here in two years with as many as 400 homes. Ah, mene no a blessing and groundbreaking ceremony marks the start of plans for the area that go way beyond housing. This project is helping to connect the Kapolei Parkway to the north-south road to give people in the region another access onto the H1 freeway. So it's lifting the life of everyone out here in the region and indeed in the state. The homes will range in price from $100,000 self-help projects to more upscale market-priced models. But that is just the beginning. $31 million is budgeted for roads, water, and sewage systems. Another $20 million for off-site improvements, including infrastructure for the University of Hawaii, West Oahu campus. We see the, uh, the university as the pico of this region, and the importance of having um, education um, in and around Hawaiian communities, we feel is the, the most critical ingredient for long-term success for our beneficiaries. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands will relocate its offices here, all in an effort to improve traffic congestion and hopefully make the original vision of a second city into reality. 
Caroline Slider, KITV4, Island Television News. The largest Hawaiian homes project in state history broke ground this week in Kapolei. More than 400 new houses will be built on this 97-acre lot at the end of Kapolei Parkway. Governor Lindell and Mike Akane untied the ceremonial mailele and joined in the blessing of the land. The project will be right next to the UH West Oahu campus. We're thankful, first of all, that um, the department is building all, this home, all these homes here and fulfilling the dreams of many other Hawaiians, but especially that the department has decided to bring their offices here. That's right. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands will be relocating its offices from downtown Honolulu to this Kapolei site. Kapolei is the site of the state's largest Hawaiian homes project in history. Ground broke today on more than 400 homes to be built at the end of Kapolei Parkway. That's right next to the planned UH West Oahu campus. Governor Linda Lingle, along with Mike Akane, untied the ceremonial mailele to kick off the project. Along with the homes, the Department of Hawaiian Homelands will also be relocating its offices to that Kapolei site. The Hawaiian Homelands Department broke ground today on a new subdivision in Kauai. 181 homes will be built on 71 acres in Anahola. The project will be built in three phases over the next five years. The leases were awarded last April. A new program is helping those who were awarded a lease to qualify for a loan while construction is underway. The department will offer financial guidance to help correct credit problems and lower debt. Ground was broken today in Kapolei for the first installment of affordable rental and for sale units to be built over the next four years by Castle and Cook Homes, Hawaii. Linda Coble reports. It will be called Nohona at Kapolei. 118 multifamily attached townhomes in 18 two-story walk-ups will occupy this land by the end of 2007. Units sold to qualified applicants earning around $100,000 or less. And what this groundbreaking represents to me is hope. Governor Linda Lingle lauded the state's involvement in the permit process, the infrastructure and tax credits, and she noted the partnership with the new Finance and Development Corporation board that kept the project affordable. More homes for folks who work in Kapolei, the firefighters, police, and teachers. That would be an incentive for teachers to move out and uh, kind of create a more permanency in their uh, placement as, as workers in our schools. Area school principals received a $15,000 gift from Castle and Cook Homes, which is looking forward to its reentry to the Kapolei housing scene. We would expect to have uh, a lottery for these, but I'm hoping that we don't have 2,000 plus people waiting in line for all day to buy a home. In four years, when the last spade of dirt is turned, the $118 million project will create three distinct new neighborhoods, offering 244 affordable rental units and 228 affordable for sale homes and more commuters. People are right to be concerned that there are more and more houses here, and that's why we're also stressing the creation of jobs in the region so people don't make these long commutes. Development of the West Oahu campus is going forward, and the Department of Hawaiian Homelands is moving its entire office out to Kapolei. The Kapolei Parkway now hooks up to the new North-South Road, providing motorists a new interchange. And no telling what the city transit plans will bring to a community that keeps growing and growing and growing. Linda Coble, KHON2 News. And still growing. And still <laughs> and growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
After waiting years for homeland property, one lessee describes being awarded a lot on Kauai as hope for Native Hawaiians and their future. The Pi'ilani Mai Kekai residential project will be built on a 71-acre lot in Anahola. The Department of Hawaiian Homelands, who provided this video, held a groundbreaking ceremony for the subdivision this week. The dreams and visions of 181 families will be fulfilled. They'll be able to live here, raise their families here, and have generations to come be able to preserve that right um, that they have for being Hawaiian. The project will be developed in three phases over the next five years. Ground was broken this week on a new Hawaiian homelands project on Kauai. The development will put 180 Native Hawaiian families into brand new homes over the next five years. Leases were awarded back in April. Under the department's new undivided interest program, applicants were not required to pre-qualify, but they must improve any credit problems while their home is under construction. A crumbling Papakolea home, which once housed five generations of Hawaiian homesteaders, is being partially torn down and rebuilt by Habitat for Humanity volunteers. Linda Coble reports the house Elizabeth Silva and her family built in 1948 will once again be home for her descendants. Time, termites, and weather have taken a toll on most of this Krause Street homestead that began as a couple of Quonset huts dragged up the side of Tantalus four decades ago by Elizabeth Silva and her brother. She was a lace seller. Mm -hmm. So we all pitch in, all generation pitch in by going and picking flowers. And living together under the roof that is now rotting away. Before the demolition began today, the only family member allowed in the upstairs bedroom was her dad. And so if I hear something like creak cracking, oh boy, I'd be walking fast, if not out the window. <laughs> Take a look at it now, you'd be afraid to step in. This morning, Habitat for Humanity and 20 volunteers from Bank of Hawaii began the job of removing the carports and upstairs living areas. Challenging but heartwarming work for the blue-shirted novices. I do web programming. Have you ever done this before? No, never. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> A lot of sweat. <laughs> and teamwork. No, just these here. Oh, okay. This piece stays. Okay. Oh, okay. Not everything's coming down. The enclosed downstairs patio rooms can be salvaged. We do a lot of teardowns and rebuilds where we take an old existing structure that's falling down and tear it down. This case is unique because it is very large and there are parts of the home that we can salvage. Bank of Hawaii contributed $15,000 to this project, which will continue every weekend for the next eight months before all in the Ohana return to Krause Street. It's going to be myself, my dad, my children, my grandchildren, two sisters, and their children. All I can say is mahalo plenty from the bottom of my heart, you know. Linda Koble, KHON 2 News.